Hey guys, welcome to Macintosh Weekly, and today this video is about the macOS Sonoma 14.2 Developer Beta 4 update. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And now let's begin. Recently, Apple released the macOS Sonoma 14.2 Beta 4 update for the developers. To update your Mac to macOS Sonoma 14.2 Beta 4, open System Settings, then go to the Software Update section, and then check for updates. Here, you can see the update is available for my device. This macOS Sonoma 14.2 Developer Beta 4 update size is around 1.81 GB for my device. Click on Update now and then agree to the SLA to begin the update on your device, and enter the password when prompted. And as you can see, the device has been successfully updated to macOS Sonoma 14.2 Beta 4, and the build number is 23C5055B. Now, moving forward and talking about the macOS Sonoma 14.2 Beta 4 release notes. The macOS 14.2 Beta 4 SDK provides support to develop apps for Mac computers, running Sonoma 14.2 Beta 4. The SDK comes bundled with Xcode 15.1, available from the Mac App Store. Regarding iMessage contact key verification, with iMessage contact key verification, users can choose to further verify that they are messaging only with the people they intend. iMessage contact key verification uses key transparency to enable automatic verification that the iMessage key distribution service returns device keys that have been logged to a verifiable and auditable map. When a user enables the feature, they will be notified about any validation errors directly in the message's conversation transcript in Apple ID settings. For even higher security, iMessage contact key verification users can compare contact verification code in person, on FaceTime, or through another secure call. They can also choose to create or edit a contact and save a public key to turn on iMessage contact key verification with that person. All devices signed into your iCloud account must be on the minimum supported version of iOS 17.2 beta, macOS 14.2 beta, or watchOS 10.2 beta. If you wish to keep using other devices on older versions of the OS, you will need to sign out of iMessage on these devices in order to enable contact key verification. Regarding the resolved issues, fixed when verifying another user, contact verification code will not show unless both users are on beta 4 or higher. Fix after verifying a contact, the verificate in checkmark might not show up in Messages app. Fixed users might see an error to turned off transcript every few hours. Fixed users might see that they are not eligible to enable contact key verification on some of their upgraded devices. Regarding the known issues, the learn more links do not link to knowledge base articles during beta. Regarding messages resolved issues, fixed unlocalized string shown for member count in the full screen map view of group messages might appear. Regarding service management resolved issues, fixed requirements for agents and demons registered with SM app service have changed to prevent sandbox escapes. The target executable must be sandboxed if the main app is sandboxed. 
A small sandbox trampoline tool can be written to execute scripts and unsandbox your system tools. Regarding StoreKit new features, new pricing properties price, currency, and currency code are now available on transaction. If an offer was applied to the transaction, a new property offer is available to see information about it, id, type, payment mode, as well as convenience properties offer id, offer type, and offer payment mode. Regarding its resolved issues, fix the StoreKit 2 transaction properties price, currency, and offer dot payment mode now have optional types. Fix the StoreKit 2 transaction properties price, currency, and offer dot payment mode now have optional types. Fix an issue causing the refund request unbutton to not dismiss the sheet when using StoreKit testing in Xcode. Fix an issue where StoreKit 2 device verification was incorrect, which caused transaction verification to fail. Regarding Swift charts resolved issues, fix an issue where a scrollable chart did not respect the initial non-zero binding value passed to chart scroll position. The rest of the build seems identical to previous betas, so that was in hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any questions, just comment down below. Thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.